So Fox News decided to live in reality and actually report the fact that Joe Biden won the election. And that has infuriated conservatives, right? Every Trump supporter s suddenly seems like they just hate Fox News, right? For calling the election at all, period, right? They, they want to just keep on fighting to the bitter end, right? So there is a hashtag going out called smelly Fox News farts, right? And so all it is, is like people just like uh, trolling Fox News. But now, of course, you know, progressives, Democrats, liberals, right? They're making fun of the conservatives who are making fun of Fox News. So it's like this whole, it's trending on Twitter now. So let's, let's take a look at this. Uh, some of these are really hilarious too. So I switched my news channel to Newsmax because of smelly Fox News farts. I invite everyone to come with me. Like people are really, really upset at Fox News. What they really wanted was total control over everything. Like what is going on? Like other people are like, what? Right wingers are hating on Fox. What's going on? <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Check out the Twitter twin. Some really funny shit. Trump supporters have all decided Fox News is now fake news and are leaving for other news outlets. Like, listen, listen, if Fox isn't crazy and conservative enough for you, you are fringe, man. Like, ho hopefully it's not that bad, but I mean, all right, but, 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 but let's see what else they're talking about. Hey, smelly, fo uh, fo smelly Fox news farts. <laughs> man, so they try to say that five times fast. President Donald Trump is still your president. Can't wait for him to whip your asses soon. I don't even know what that means. Dump Fox News. There is only one sniffer who enjoys Fox News. Smelly Fox News farts. Are, 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 they, are they children? Why do they think that that's like clever or hilarious? I don't get it though. Hey, smelly Fox News farts. Take a look at this. What it, um, this is what first place looks like. Yeah, talk about the small crowd sizes, right? Look at that. Yeah, so people are just like super making fun. Oh man, this this run these runoffs are gonna be big as fudge though. I barely watch uh Greg Gutfeld, I don't know, but it has truly become smelly Fox News farts. What, what, what are they talking about? This is some weird, this is weird-ish. The five stages of grief versus denial, right? Then they're going to get really angry, then they're going to bargain, depress, and then they'll finally accept it. So it's going to take a while for Donald Trump to, do, to go through all five stages. I know that. Your own, trust your own eyes, not the liars. Smelly Fox News farts. So it is hilarious to me that Fox News has enabled this like conspiratorial, like, you know, uh, uh, non-scientific conspiracy laden presidency for four years. And now it's finally come back to bite them in the ass now. Hopefully, we'll see. Farts are funny. Did you miss? I don't. I don't understand. Like, where did the farts come in from? It's about time to drop smelly Fox News farts. Almost every single sane person in the U.S. would drop the fake news. The Murdoch family already profited enough from spreading hatred among the people. Like, yeah, no, no. I mean, well, most of them are their their opinion. They're a propagandist outlet. Of course, they're fake. But not for the reasons the these Republicans think they're fake. They've been helping you guys, but Fox News is toxic, actually. Actually, real shit. Posting this for all the Trump supporters under this hashtag. Smelly Fox News farts. Or 
probably get in trouble. Okay, hope you can hope you can stand smelly Fox News. For, well, I don't know what they're talking about. This is the weirdest thing to be trending right now. I farted there. I wonder how did this get started though? Oh my gosh. Don't want to see that. Do not want to see that. Keep going, keep going. Well, it's now trending number one, which is the only point of this weekly break from politics. It's just fun. And that you take it the way you do is on you, not us, try decaf. Yeah, I mean, look, it's fun, but I don't, I don't understand. Like, is this serious or are they just having fun? Because like, this is something we should be saying. This is something Biden, Biden supporters should be saying. Wow, what an what an appropriate hashtag. You sure y'all call yourselves adult? I don't know. It's like they're kids. It's like they're like literally. I know they're uneducated, but does uneducated mean like retarded or something? Like, why do they find like we're so sleepy Joe and all this? Stuff? Why do they find it funny? I don't understand. Projection. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So they really think that Fox News calling the election for Biden, every single network, everybody with eyes and a brain understands Biden won the election. They think that that's Fox being fake news for some reason. Man, they live in a totally different world. Smell the stink of fakeness all the way down in Georgia. <laughs> I kind of like this one. Oh, man. Triggered and whining leftists for eight weeks and holding strong. What? Who's whining? Like, you guys literally lost an election, and now you're calling the your, your own propaganda network fake news. Literally, right now, Donald Trump is barricading himself inside the White House. And, and refusing to concede the election, but we're whining? Get out of here. Like, after all of this stuff, like, I don't ever want to hear any complaints about liberals whining ever again. So ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know what's going on, man. This, this is hilarious. But look, go on Twitter. You know, uh, go on Smelly Fox News Farts. If you want to lose a few IQ points, lose about like five to 10 IQ points, just go down this rabbit hole of getting into the mind of a Trump supporter. Because trust me, you will go insane. You will go insane. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time. This is your boy, Dante. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. If you have any comment on this, please leave a comment. Let's, let's have a conversation about this. This is ridiculous.